can cheap bases be as good as more expensive bases? That's a pretty ancient argument, and it usually starts something like this. A band is playing somewhere, and the bass player's main bass decides to take a crap on him. Lucky for him, he has a backup bass. Now, this backup bass happens to be some cheap, inexpensive instrument. He doesn't even remember how he acquired it. He may have obtained it in some long-forgotten trade deal. I'll trade you this cheap bass for that cool Don Cheadle poster. Throw in five bucks and you got yourself a deal. But something amazing happens. This cheap never played backup bass suddenly sounds phenomenal and it plays like melted butter. The experience is so magical he wonders if he'll ever buy a more expensive bass again. So that night he goes online and he shares this experience on social media. Now most folks will read it and be supportive. But there's always going to be some guys that show up, you know the type, that just have something else to say about it. And they will debate every reason why an inexpensive bass can never be as good as a more expensive one. Then other players will show up and they'll debate those points. Then a flame war starts. Missiles are fired. A pestilence is released. Aunt Mary drinks her tea. And finally, the whole mess gets locked down. Then a few months will go by. Someone will have a similar experience and the whole thing starts all over again. The glaring problem with this argument is that it's way too generalized. I mean, what are we comparing and what is our purpose? Let's take cars for example. Now a person can make an argument that a more expensive vehicle is usually better built than a lesser expensive vehicle. And by virtue of this, it will also have advantages over the lesser expensive vehicle. But that doesn't mean that the lesser expensive vehicle won't have advantages over the more expensive vehicle. And both vehicles can have disadvantages. But what is the user-defined purpose of the vehicle? There are some purposes that the more expensive vehicle is always going to exceed at. But there are some purposes where both vehicles function equally at. And there are other purposes you're just not going to want to use your more expensive vehicle for. Well, bases are the same way. There are some purposes that the more expensive instrument will excel at. There's also other situations where both instruments are perfectly qualified for. And then there's other situations where the more inexpensive instrument will be optimal at. I mean, how many times have you seen an Alembic covered in bumper stickers with all its electronics changed out? Now, when it comes to build quality, I have yet to see a base in this price range that's equal to one in this price range. But that doesn't mean that the inexpensive base is built bad. There's plenty of cases where a cheaper instrument is going to hit all the marks of a player's wants that the more expensive instrument won't. Because what really decides if a cheaper base is as good as a more expensive base is the individual player. In economics, the concept of cardinal utility is the satisfaction level a person has after consuming a good or service. And this is measured with an imaginary unit called a util. There's many reasons why a player may own an expensive instrument. It could be anything from an appreciation to the artistry in the design. It could be the instrument used by a favorite player. Or just the simple fact that the player chose a path in life where that player is now able to afford one. Whatever the reason may be, the ownership of this expensive instrument brings the player tons of utils. But utils can be applied to inexpensive instruments as well. A different player may love the way another inexpensive bass plays and sounds. Perhaps that player enjoys having inexpensive instruments as modding platforms. There also could be sentimental reasons why a player chooses to play an inexpensive bass. There's a lot of reasons why an inexpensive bass would give another player tons of utils. This is because utils are measured by the person, not the price tag. I'm Rib13. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.